Hi everybody, Draw Ninja Casey here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to pack and ship your anime glass paintings for uh, posting to either a customer or maybe a family member, what have you. Since you're gonna be doing anime glass painting, chances are you might be making a little money on the side, your family might want uh, some uh, paintings of their own, and they may not live in your direct vicinity, so you're gonna have to ship it. So it's best that when you ship it, it does not break in transport. Really, you don't want your hard work being received by the customer all broken and shattered. So, let's go! Okay, today we're shipping the Dabby and Hawks painting I did for the last video. And I want to definitely make sure that the customer receives it in good condition. So, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the glass is protected. That's your main focus right now to make sure that the glass is protected all right so you cut basically you cut a piece of cardboard in the same width and length of the glass so that you can put over the glass part to protect it okay sometimes you may want to put even two pieces of cardboard but one is one is sufficient enough to, to protect the glass because the glass is sunk in deep enough so that if anything hits the cardboard, it's not going to hit the glass. The next thing now is to take is to take the back and put the same size cardboard on the back. So you have to you're protecting the back and the front of the painting. So it's kind of like sandwiched in between these two pieces of hard cardboard. Maybe make sure it's one of those uh, pieces of hard cardboard that's hard to bend, so it can uh, sustain a shock. All right. And now it's sandwiched in between those pieces of hard cardboard and then you take a piece of tape and connect the back and the front of the cardboard together. Like so, take this piece of tape, tape it right here, and then let it connect to the back. And same thing all around, okay? Now you also want to tape a piece of tape to the frame. Now it's very important that when you ship your painting that you ship it with the frame. The frame adds an added protection. Um, whenever I do commissions, I ship the commissions with the frame. Now I know that a lot of people on YouTube and TikTok always just do the anime glass painting just for the glass itself and that's for them the important part but I think that uh, actually displaying it in the frame is actually pretty pretty cool so I'm gonna put a piece of tape I'm gonna shift this to the side to where I put a piece of tape on the frame itself and the cardboard so the cardboard so the frame does not shift back and forth within between between the two pieces of cardboard okay so you tape it to one side where it's taped right and so it's not moving all right let's minimize the moving yeah, actually okay so now we have the sandwich it's not moving and we have the back protected and the front protected see that okay now the next most important thing is the box, like this one right here. Let me see. <laughs> now I always save these because I order a lot of stuff from Amazon, so I always save these like padded air bubbles to ship my anime glass paintings in, and they always come in handy. But you can also use crumpled up paper, right? to do what we're about to do next. Or you can also use those little uh, popcorn insulate, insulated thingies that, you know, I forgot what they're called, but you, when you, sometimes when you see a package, you receive a package, a whole bunch of them around your, around your uh, item. But the main focus here is to let whatever, the item or the glass painting float in the middle. 
use packages that you saved from Amazon, from what have you. So you just kind of insulate it from the bottom and from the top. Okay. Now you can also use crumpled up paper. I mean, you can tape the crumpled up piece of paper here, one here, one here, one here, and then on the other side, one here, one here, one here, and here, and then it basically will be floating in the top. And then what you want to do is get more crumpled up piece of paper and put them at the side so that they don't touch the sides. Okay, so you're, you'll have a lot of crumpling up to do, but once you're finished, you'll have the the painting not touching the sides or, or the bottom or the top but since I have these insulated um, airbags I'm gonna use those but usually if I don't have these I use the crumpled up eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper to insulate all around the uh, the painting now if you are shipping multiple paintings very important to know that this sandwich uh, concept can be done with multiple paintings so if you're shipping three paintings you do the first one the same way I explained and then put the other painting on top of that right and then put another piece of cardboard over the glass and then another one on top of that and another piece of cardboard over the glass okay so kind of like a triple decker sandwich all right so what I'm gonna do is put that in there like that and then tape it to the cardboard so they are not losing each other in the box. Okay. It's okay to use industrial strength tape for this. I'm just going to use the Scotch tape. Okay. Alright, so for with this one, it's protected at the bottom and protected at the sides. Especially and protected at the sides. Let's just gotta get that in there. It's protected at the bottom and protected at the sides, but we're gonna still need more protection because we don't want it moving. That's the important thing. We don't want it moving in the box. So I'm gonna take more padding, put that around so that it's protected on all sides of the box. Again, this is. These are things that I saved from Amazon. Whenever I receive Amazon package <laughs> packages, I save them so that I can actually use them to ship um, my anime glass, my anime glass paintings to customers. And also, um, the box is also from Amazon. So, a very important recycling. I'm a big recycler. I'm a big fan of recycling, so I always recycle uh, the boxes. I always break them down and use them for shipping out because I do have a lot of commissions that I do. So if I receive a box that I think that is an appropriate size, I usually save it and use it for shipping um, other things. So uh, again, this is all the stuff I get from, <laughs> more stuff I get from the Amazon uh, shipping department, okay? And then you put that in there, make sure that it's nice and secure. And at this point, your painting is in the middle, it's not moving, okay? You don't have to use these same items I'm using, I'm telling you, crumpled up paper works just as well. You have to do a lot of crumpling, but if you have, if you don't have all these uh, extra added, extra padded materials, use crumpled up paper, it's a great home hack for shipping your anime glass painting without it being broken, okay? So your main point is let it float in the middle, not touching the sides, and it does not move while in shipping. Now it's time to just kind of pack it away. So now that you have it pretty much packed and secure, as you see, it's not shaking or moving inside. The glass is protected and it's not hitting against the sides of the wall, which would actually cause it 
to break. So at this point, I'm really good to go. But there is one important thing before I put on the label. There's one important thing that you must, must do in order to super secure the box and the glass painting inside of the box, okay? The one, probably one of the most important steps is this. Okay, so now that your box is all ready and primed and perfectly packed to go, it's time for you to schedule a pickup from the post office or just take it down to the post office. So in between taking it down to the post office, don't, you know, goof around with it or mess around with it that would cause it to do anything that break. I mean, like tossing it off or anything like that. Don't do any of that. Oh, oh. This is Drawn Ninja Casey saying, I'll see you next time.